Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I will begin a series of lectures on power system analysis, and this is lecture one. Uh, first of all, I will begin to talk about one of the important topics, one-line diagram, and I will give the definition of the one-line diagram. It shows the interconnection of various components of a symmetrical, balanced, three-phase power system by a standard symbols on a single-phase basis. This is called the one-line diagram or single-line diagram. And I will write it down. This is important. It should be symmetrical, number one. It should be balanced, number two. It should be a three-phase power system and we use a standard symbol on a single phase basis because each uh, component of, this, of the power system uh, have its own equivalent circuit for example electric machine uh, a, a three phase balanced induction motor have this uh, equivalent circuit So it is designed on a single line basis since it's a, a balanced system. This is for a three phase induction machine. We use this uh, equivalent circuit and uh, it's a balanced three phase system and it's a symmetrical system. So we will use in the one line diagram a different equivalent circuit and this will be uh, uh, easy and simple in the following uh, illustrations. Uh, I will show different components and it's uh, following simple. For example, number one, a line or cable. we use only an arrow number two a circuit breaker we use square box or sometimes we add a cross on the line number three uh, rotating machine we use uh, circle this is uh, these symbols are used in one line diagram two winding power transformer we use this simple or sometimes we use this symbols current transformer we add this symbol potential transformer we add this symbol or sometimes simple three phase uh, delta connection three phase star connection This is uh, neutrally unground, neutrally solidly ground, and uh, this is uh, grounded through a reactor or grounded through a 
resistor for the use of uh, the one line diagram symbols is the following if we have an electric generator we add a circle and the letter G if the primary is star connected and solidly ground then it has a circuit breaker after the circuit breaker there is a bus bar from the bus bar we have another circuit breaker and connected to a transformer from the transformer this transformer is delta y transformer with the a ground through a reactance then another circuit breaker we have the transmission line another breaker and then the step down transformer for example this is the star grounded through a resistance the neutral delta transformer another circuit breaker then another bus bar where we have electric motor 1 and electric motor 2 this electric motor is grounded through a reactor and this is this motor is ungrounded neutral and then we have an electric load R equivalent and XL equivalent this is the load this is a typical power system one line diagram the next uh, topic is about the impedance and reactance diagram the one line diagram as this example does not provide uh, concise information about the system the performance of the system under load conditions or under the occurrence of a short circuit cannot be directly calculated using the one diagram the one line diagram thus it is uh, necessary to obtain an equivalent circuit of the system for the purpose of analysis under uh, a four set conditions thus the impedance and reactance diagram should contains the equivalent circuit of each component of the power system where I, we can use the uh, electric rules and uh, laws to analyze the circuit Thus, the impedance diagram, this one, is obtained by replacing each component of the system by a single phase equivalent circuit. For example, the synchronous machine is represented by, this is for synchronous machine, is represented by an EMF and the uh, synchronous reactance XJ uh, XS where the current is IG is coming out of the machine this is a uh, synchronous generator if the current is coming out of the machine and if the current is entering we call it IM this is E generator we just replace 
E generated by E motor it will become a synchronous motor M indicates motor and G indicates generator for a transformer equivalent circuit the equivalent circuit of a transformer where this is the primary side and this is the secondary and this is the magnetizing circuit this is the equivalent circuit of a transformer in the impedance diagram we are now talking about impedance diagram for a transmission line we represent it by a pi a pi equivalent circuit which is uh, the following And then the equivalent circuit of the load is simply a resistor in series with an inductance. Thus, if we want to convert this system to a one line diagram, it will be the following. That converts this system to an impedance diagram. Thus, the generator will be the E generated positive negative going to JX generator. Then we will ignore the circuit breakers we will ignore this one we will connect directly the transformer the equivalent circuit of a transformer then after the transformer we draw the equivalent circuit of the transmission line After that we have another transformer Sorry, we have here another resistance and inductance Then we will uh, add these loads in parallel means that this is motor number one E motor JX motor one positive negative then we add motor number two P motor 2 JX motor 2 then we add the load R load and JX load this is the how to convert a single line diagram into an impedance diagram now 
to make the calculation to see the performance of the system it is difficult to use this impedance diagram thus we used another diagram which is called the reactance diagram which is a simplified diagram of impedance diagram and how is that in the reactance diagram we will ignore the magnetizing circuit in the transformer and the resistances of the primary and secondary side of the transformer this will be ignored thus the equivalent circuit of the transformer will be only JXT only a reactance and also in the transmission line we will ignore the capacitance and the resistance as well thus also the transmission line will be represented by a single reactance the others are the same the generator and the synchronous generator and synchronous motors induction motors uh, will be represented also by one reactance I hope it's clear so if I want to convert the impedance diagram into a reactance diagram it will be the following the generator EG its reactance the JX generator the transformer only JX transformer then the transmission line JX transmission line after that we will have the other transformer JX transformer 2 then we will have the electric motors This is the reactance diagram of this simplify of this impedance diagram. It's a simplified diagram called the reactance diagram. These are used in the calculation of uh, the powers and uh, the performance of the system. The reactance diagram is widely used. In the load, we don't. We don't do not ignore the resistance. We use it in the reactance diagram. 